What up guys, welcome back to the channel. I got a different type of video. I don't normally do videos like this. A lot of people have been in my DMs asking me to rate their jump shot. Now, I went through my whole basketball career from high school to college playing at the highest division one level from my jump shot. Uh, my jump shot created a lot of different parts of the game. For me, I was able to drive and finish around the rim from my jump shot. I was always known my whole career as the shooter. I worked on my form since I was like three years old. I've always had really, really good form, very fundamental, which is why a lot of people ask me to rate their jump shots. So today I will be rating the jump shots of some of your favorite basketball YouTubers. Okay, so here's how it's gonna work. I guess people want me to rate their jump shot one through 10. They ask me on Instagram to do it all the time. Not these YouTubers, just regular people in general. But since you guys don't know them, I'm not gonna rate random people's jump shots, if that makes sense. I'm going to rate your favorite basketball YouTubers jump shots today. Now, I am rating their jump shots based on fundamentals. They might make shots by having a kooky form. There's nothing wrong with a kooky form if the shot goes in. I am just rating jump shots based on a picture perfect jump shot. I know trolls will come along here and find some way to hate. I'm not hating in any way. I respect everyone in this video. Not everyone has been playing basketball their whole life. Not everyone was taught how to shoot the correct way, how to shoot fundamentally. Luckily, my dad played basketball. He showed me a lot of the correct mechanics on how to shoot, which I'm also gonna be playing a game of horse with my dad on my channel in the future. But a lot of these YouTubers you guys watch, you guys know. I am going to be starting with Austin McBroom and FaZe Rug. They did a three-point contest at Austin McBroom's first charity basketball game at USC, so I'm gonna be watching that and rating their jump shots one through 10. Let's get started. Whoever loses, that other person has to give them a shout out at the beginning of their video. Interesting, so whoever loses this, they have to give a shout out to the other person in the beginning of the video. I guess that was the whole deal. So no money, just a shout out, all right. So phase rug at the top of the key. Um, so let's let's pause and break this down. This is not picture perfect form, I'll tell you that much. Let's see. So first of all, his guide hand is way too much in front of the ball, um, and his thumb is also on the side of the ball. So when you go up to shoot, your your guide hand should be on the side of the ball, not in front of the ball, and your thumb should not be on it. It should just be there to guide it all the way. Um, those are the first two problems I see. Next problem is his follow through. So his follow through goes this way. You're supposed to finish here next to each other, not crossing over each other. Follow through is one of the most important aspects. Another thing, a lot of his shots are short. He's not bending his knees. His legs are straight up and down and he's not bending his knees, which I think is causing more problems for him. I don't think he made a ton of shots. Um, Faze Rug is... <laughs> Killer YouTuber, he crushes the YouTube game. Jump shot wise, fundamental wise, um, man, I gotta go probably with a four out of 10. Just because his fundamentals aren't right, his hands in front of the ball, he doesn't follow through, his feet are too close. I think a cool thing that could come out of this is some of these YouTubers might want me to help fix their jump shot. So any of you guys that are watching today, I will definitely come help you fix your jump shot if you want me to. All right, let's go now on to Austin McBroom. Austin obviously played in college. His jump shot's a little funky. It's not picture perfect either. Um, he played at a really high level in college. This basically says you don't have to have a fundamental jump shot to play at a high level to have success on your shot. Um, his is a little funky. He's not making the most shots right now. He kind of sets it here and then and then like catapult, kind of like how Derek Fisher used to shoot a little bit instead of having one fluid motion. Um, yeah, he didn't make the most shots in this three-point contest. I know he doesn't play basketball that much anymore. Uh, oh, he started to heat up on this last rack. Got a pass from Clarkson and hit it with a little shimmy. So obviously Austin won that three-point contest. I'm not sure why FaZe Rug wanted to be in that three-point contest with Austin, maybe for content. I would assume it's for content. Austin played at a really high level in college and I don't think FaZe did. Both good guys. Austin's jump shot, fundamental-wise, I gotta go probably six and a half out of 10. Because of that clutch, it's a little weird. His follow-through was nice and 
um, his body as a whole is, is pretty solid. All right, now on to Flight Reacts. You guys love him. I don't think he takes basketball seriously. I don't think he plans on beating people one-on-one. -on -one. I think that's kind of his whole shtick. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me rewind that because that jump shot, let me pause it right as he's about to shoot it. His feet are pointed out two totally different directions as well as his knees. So he's shooting like this. His elbow is out on his right shot. His release is out here instead of being closer into his body. Oh my gosh, and that follow through. That follow through is insane. He's not following through here. He's kind of like throwing both hands, like he's throwing his hands in the air. Um, that is crazy. You can see Mikey's putting his hand on his stomach, which is technically not legal. Um, and he flicks it. He doesn't follow through, which is another issue. You're supposed to follow your shot, but when you run that fast after you shoot it, you know that that thing is not going in. Um, I guess they're playing one shot. A lot of those fundamentals are wrong. I don't think very many of his shots go in. If he wants me to help him with his jump shot, I will gladly help him with his jump shot. I need to see a couple more of those before I rate it. Okay, Mikey's got a pretty smooth shot. His form looks solid. His body for a high schooler is really, really built. Let's pause another one. Uh, step back, let's see his feet. Um, his feet are, could be a little bit wider, but his balance is pretty good. Um, shoots right at kind of at the top of his head, which is nice. Elbow from that angle looks like it's tucked in and he's got a good follow through. He shoots a little bit too out. It's better if you shoot more up, you get more arch on it. He shoots a little bit too out and that's why it kind of clanked off the back rim in that one. I love that he's so confident in his game regardless of that shooting form. Oh, there goes the Hezzy. Yeah, that pull up is crazy. All right, so here comes the pull up again, Hezzy. Look how his legs are way too far apart on the pull up. They're facing different directions. He's not even facing the basket. He's facing the wall. You're supposed to face the basket. He is not facing the basket. Jumps kind of high, gets above his defender. A little bit more of a follow through on that one. That one was a little bit better. Okay, so here goes flight again. Okay, so look at, oh my gosh. His footwork, he was about to pull up with one foot, basically doing the splits. This is why he gets knocked off balance. A big part of shooting a shot is keeping your body square, having your feet about shoulder width apart so you can stay really balanced and solid and not get pushed over like that. And my, Mikey knows it and is laughing. Um, so here goes flight again, drives, travels, turns around and does a little jump hook, shot put thing. If he would've followed through, he maybe would've made that, but he shot put it. Uh, didn't go in. Okay, so here goes Mikey again. So see a little bit more of a solid base from Mikey. Bend in the knees. I don't love that he kind of like curls his arm in a little bit and shoots from the left side of his body. You're supposed to keep it on the right side of your body and just go up. And there's a little hitch in his shot from here to here. If he was more fluid with it, it would help him a lot more, but that was cash. Again, your shot doesn't have to be perfect to go in. As long as you shoot a lot of reps the same way, you can make a ton of shots. All right, Flight's jump shot, I gotta go probably, man, I gotta go three on Flight's jump shot, three out of 10 on Flight's jump shot, and I'll go, I'm gonna go eight on Mikey's. There's a few things that can be tweaked on Mikey's shot, but for the most part, his shot's pretty fundamental. He shoots a little bit too far to the left and hitches it a little bit here, but um, pr pretty solid jump shot overall. All right, let's go Jesser here. So Jesser and Rice Gum had a three-point shootout. Let's break down Jesser's. It looks like Jesser's got a solid form. Um, he's got a little bit of hitch in his shot. His feet are probably a little bit too close. He does something interesting. A lot of people in the old days, like back when they used to play basketball in the 70s, used to split their stance. And splitting your stance is okay. It's semi-fundamental, as long as you're balanced and you're not too, your legs aren't too close to each other, as long as they're a little wider apart. Splitting your legs is not the worst thing in the world. I wouldn't recommend it, but it's not the worst. Okay, his follow through is really nice. I really like his follow through. His feet are too close. He doesn't bend his knees too much. He's got a little bit of knee bend. 
I like that his shot, it's pretty pure. His stroke is pretty pure. Puts his hand in the rim. Could shoot with a little bit more arch. It's a little more of a dart, but it's a, it's a pretty shot. Clank that off the rim. See how Jesser keeps it in tight here on the same side of his body? I also like that. Oh, he flicks his thumb also. If he kept his hand on the side of the ball, it would probably be more accurate. When you use that thumb, it throws the shot off a little bit. So if you're shooting straight and the thumb's going, it's gonna throw it in all different directions. But that was pretty straight. And he's like pretty confident with his shot, which is another thing that's important in shooting is just being confident. And this is another guy that if he just shot this, he's confident in his shot. If he shot this way over and over again, he could have a pretty consistent shot. I don't think Jesser's in the gym shooting thousands of shots a day, but he would have a pretty good jump shot if he, uh, if he did. Jesser's jump shot, I'm gonna go uh, seven and a half on Jesser's. Now we got Rice Gum. All right, Rice Gum, again, his foot is a little more forward than I'd like. Um, he's got a solid shot. He actually, let's see. He shoots the ball a little bit too much in front of his face. It should be a little bit closer to his body. And he's another guy that kind of shoots it more out than up. Feet are pretty straight, balance is solid. He could use a little more follow through on his shot. Yeah, he kind of pulled it away there. Uh, this is a pretty fair matchup. I'm not sure, oh, off the, off the back rim. He's not shooting with enough arch. Um, as you can tell, they're kind of bouncing off the back of the rim. Um, yeah, you can see it in his body. He's pushing it a little bit more because he's tired and Jesser won the three-point shootout. I would probably, if there were to be more three-point shootouts between the two of them, I would bet my money on Jesser. Rice gums form, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go six and a half. Um, solid form, not terrible, could use a few tweaks, um, but for the most part, it's, uh, it's a decent form. I used this game so we could get a couple more of your favorite YouTubers on there. Duke Dennis, 2K Davis, Chris London, and Zach TTG. I've never seen Duke Dennis play. This will be the first time I'm watching him. He was really high on some people's YouTubers list, so I'm excited to watch this. Oh man, so we start with a close-up of Duke's shot. This is like right on him. The ball is just way too far above his head. You can't shoot the ball up here. It's really hard to control your shot and shoot from up here when you have way more control here. Also, his elbow is out. His follow through is decent. Clank off the rim. It was short, so I need to see how his footwork and how he bends his knees. He's got Chris guarding him, which Chris is pretty tall, so we'll see how this works out. A lot of dribbling. All right, over the head again. That's probably not gonna work. He didn't make a move and he just tried to shoot over Chris. His follow through is good. He's got a nice gooseneck. It's just tough to shoot over Chris. Chris is tall. You can't just dribble, dribble, dribble and then just shoot out of nowhere. Okay, so Chris, let's go to Chris. Um, Chris's body's really long. That was actually a nice step back. If you look at his lower body, he's pretty solid. Um, look how long his arms are. It's pretty crazy. He's another one that kind of shoots like above his head, kind of cocks it a little bit. Let's see how his guide and follow through are. His elbows allow out a little bit more than I'd like it to be. Follow through is not bad. It looks like, it's hard to tell from the angle, but it looks like he's got good arch on his shot. Okay, so here we go, fade away. Oh, that was way too slow. That's the problem about Chris's shot. It looks like it takes him a really long time to load up, kind of the same thing as Austin McBroom. And he gets blocked there, yeah. If you're gonna fade on someone, you gotta make a move a different, if your shot's that slow, you gotta make a move on, and try to go a different way to get them to bite and then shoot. Um, okay, here's Duke Dennis. A lot of dribbling and trying to shoot over Chris again. That's gonna be tough. Yeah, it's clank off the side of the rim. That's, that's gonna be tough shooting over him, not really making a good move. At least he shoots over his head to try and get it over Chris. I don't recommend that, but if he, if he was shooting here, he'd get, be getting blocked. You can't just dribble in place and try to shoot over a taller defender like that. Um, all right, here's Duke Dennis again. Longer defender. Okay, gave him a pump fake first. Let's see his feet. Okay, feet are way too close together, way too close. And they're kind of pointing out in different directions. And then he goes and shoots over his head again. You can tell he's kind of trying to figure out how to shoot over Chris. Um, okay, so here goes Chris. Oh, wow. Looking the other direction pulls back and shoots it, which is always tough if you're looking the other way and then try to like find the rim, it's kind of tough. Um, that's pretty deep. That's also like five feet behind the three point line. Um, because he's so tall, he's able to get that over his defender. Again, a little bit of a slower race. Oh, air ball. 
Um, okay, 2K Davis. He's already hit a shot. Let's see if he shoots another one. Oh, no. Oh, this is a fadeaway. Oh, my gosh. Listen, a, a big part of shooting is, like, if you're not practicing a fadeaway or a step back or shots that are outside of what you're used to doing, it's going to be pretty hard to make shots. Like, a set shot and a fadeaway and a step back are very different shots. They take different technique, extra technique, extra strength, extra legs. And as we can tell here, outside of guys taking regular set shots, it's tough for them to make the shots. Here's 2K Davis, another shot. Oh, see? This is where people go wrong. Pulled his arms back, didn't follow through. You gotta put that ball into the rim. Okay, Chris, quick shot, long. Also, shooting fast is a little bit on the harder side. Duke Dennis with a step back. Okay, this time over Chris. Um, he's been shooting long, I think. Long and short, maybe a combo, so maybe he figured it out. Has the ball again with Zach guarding him. I guess they got a switch. And tries to shoot over Zach and shoots way too hard. Probably from compensating from shooting over Chris. Uh, Chris with a step back and gets blocked again. It's tough, listen, it's tough. When you have that pause in your shot, it's hard to get it off on defenders, especially athletic defenders, which looks like Duke is Pretty athletic. Oh my God, and a bank for the game winner. That hurts. Um, I'm not sure, he, uh, no offense to Duke, but he would not be on my top 10 YouTube Hooper list. I mean, you guys saw my Hooper list. Banked in a game winner, interesting. All right, Duke, I'm gonna go six out of 10. Davis, I'm gonna go seven out of 10. Chris, I'm gonna go seven out of 10. Okay, this one is tough for me. This one is still Illuminati. The first list that I saw, the first YouTube Hooper list I saw, he was number one on the list. Now, I'm gonna really have to disagree with that one. He would definitely not be in my top 10. Him and Duke would be a very interesting game, but neither of them are in my top 10. I need to watch this game through, but from what I've seen in the past, neither one of them would be in my top 10. Um, okay, start off with his jumper. I guess he's, he was playing someone, some trash talker at the gym one-on-one. -on -one. So here we go. Looks like he's a lefty. Um, that's a pretty slow release. That's the slowest release we've had so far out of all of them. Um, his feet are not terrible. His feet are actually solid. Um, he's got, looks like he's got pretty good balance. His feet are pointing a little bit too much away from the basket. You wanna try and be as square to the basket as possible. Um, his shot is way too far out in front of his body. Look how far out his elbow is. Um, and his right elbow is kind of cocked out, so it's like this. Um, you want to keep it tight to the body. If this guy was guarding him anywhere close, which this guy is giving him zero respect on a jump shot, um, he'd probably be blocking it. He cocks it back also. He kind of gives it that hitch back as well, on top of it already being kind of slow motion. Um, I need to watch his follow through. Let's see the follow through. Okay, so it jabs him. All right, another shot. From what I can tell, it looks like he's also using his thumb, his guide hand. His shot looks like this right now in the air. His guide hand should not be like this. His guide hand should be here and his follow through should be here. And that's my left, so my form is not as perfect on the left. But it should be follow through here and look how far out his left hand is as opposed to up and shooting it and giving it arc. Um, and he's not hitting too many of these shots. He says, I should have warmed up. Yeah, he's not hitting too many shots in this video. I mean, look, this guy's not even in the screen on this one. I mean, this guy is like guarding him from the paint. He's playing Rondo defense on him, um, as he should be. That's how I would play defense on him also. Um, Looks like he can drive to the lane a little bit. Well, I'm not talking about overall games, um, but his body looks really long. It looks like he can finish. His base is good, but he doesn't bend enough. You need to bend your knees to get that momentum into your shot, to really get that rhythm and to get that strength. All right, this one looks like it's, okay, top of the key hits it. Again, defender not really guarding him, so he's kind of taking his time on the shot. 11-8, it says. I don't know what they're going to. Shoots another three off the front of the rim. He hit two in a row, second one, like barely bounced off the front of the rim. I gotta go, um, I gotta go six out of 10 on his shot. His base was solid, he needs to bend his knees more. That guide hand on the side, 
Maybe I'll go five and a half. It's gotta bring the shot closer, take the hitch out. But again, uh, if any of you guys are watching this or anybody knows them or there are YouTubers out there that want help with their jump shot, I will gladly help you. In my opinion, I don't think that there is a YouTube basketball player that can beat me in the three-point contest. That's what I did throughout my career. That's why I played on two Division I teams and went to two NCAA tournaments. I was the best three-point shooter on my team at Pepperdine and Baylor. It was just my specialty. It's what I've always done. It's what I'm really good at. When I was in college, I was making like 90 out of 100 college three-pointers. NBA, I was probably making 85, low 80s out of 100 from three. So I spent all day and all night shooting on the machine, shooting with managers. That was my focus and I pretty much did it my whole life. And I was blessed and thankful to learn the fundamentals and learn the basics at a really early age. So now I feel like I like to give it back. I train some kids sometimes in the LA area. Family, friends, whenever I have time, help them with their jump shots. So if there are other YouTubers out there that want to collab and want help with their jump shots, I will gladly help you. If you guys like this video, let me know. I'm gonna do another video like this but with rappers instead of YouTube boobers playing basketball and rating their form. But that's only if you guys like this video. So drop a comment, drop a thumbs up. Please let me know if you liked it. If you aren't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe and tell a friend to tell a friend. For today, we're out. Peace.